So one of the goals of any project that we work on is to create a strong impact on the viewer. And part of that impact is the overall impression, what silhouette you see from a long distance, but then as you approach the piece, it draws you in, and the final impression is the detail. So you want to come right up to the piece, and the head of a sculpture is the most important, and then the eye of the sculpture. And that's what captivates the viewer and gives the emotion and presence to the piece. We showed up about 6.30 and uh, a statue was already here. We set the, the crane in place. We pulled the, the truck with the statue beside the crane, rigged it up with the chain falls and the come alongs and the rigging, picked it up as close as we could to where it was gonna be in its final position. Swung it over, kept it low to the ground, got it over on this side above the keyway, put a level on it, um, set it to where it would slide down in and now we're uh, we set it, we got it to elevation, we put some shims in it, and now we're gonna finish welding it. And then we'll take the rigging off it and we'll send the crane home. The inspiration behind this whole thing, and in my case, I've been doing Birds of Prey for about the last 35 years. I've sold about 750 different birds around the world to 20 separate nations. And so Greg Steinhauer, when he was only about 15, 16 years old, happened to see one of my monuments in Maui, and he was inspired at that time. So when I was a teenager, I saw a sculpture by Chester, and when the opportunity came to develop this project, it was a natural that we were next to the Seahawks Stadium that we named the Project Hawk Tower. Who better to put a sculpture in than Chester? And so I tracked him down and found out he lived in Spokane, and we had some great conversations, and that led to what you see today. We decided to do the whole project in stainless steel so that the bird of prey was more ambiguous. And also, from my perspective, it added additional strength because in this case, it's just two legs supporting that piece. So it makes it a little bit more looking like the bird is in flight. Normally when I sculpt or I paint, the whole soul to a piece is the eye. And I pay a lot of attention to try to bring the eye and a sculpture back to life. In this case, I'm gonna be spraying the eyes green. So there's a little bit of a association to the Seahawks. It's been a major challenge because it's taken me two years from beginning to the end of this project to get it done. And so this is where we've kind of come to the final stage at this point. We kind of set ourselves apart by focusing on the overall composition and silhouette, but also going in and doing really a high refinement of detail. And I think my dad pulled that off really well on this piece. And the overall impression, I think, is going to come across to all the fans of the Seahawks and all the uh, residents of Seattle. <laughs>